Christmas Day wreck on I-20 took the lives of 24-year-old Ryan Furtick and his three-year-old goddaughter, Naraya Shannon. Georgia State troopers say it happened when a Dodge Charger entered the emergency lane and hit the back of a tractor trailer, catching the Charger on fire. Now the mother of that child killed in the crash is speaking out. Hallie Turner sat down with her to hear how she's taking her pain and turning it into something positive. Nakiria McCoy says Christmas 2022 is a nightmare she will never escape. One of my very first thoughts was, how am I just supposed to continue life? Like, it's just no way that I have to continue life without my daughter and her goddad. As her world is transforming before her eyes, she's taken comfort in sharing her pain and the community of support she's received on social media in return. Within that first week or so, when my world just seems to have been going crazy. Social media became my outlet, somewhere for me to go and vent or talk about it. As she keeps going, so does her impact. I went from like 300 followers to 11,000 followers in two days. Stretching as far as Chicago. I've never been in Chicago a day in my life, but a lot of those moms would reach out to you know, send their condolences. And then I realize all in the same message, they've recently lost someone or they're going through the same thing. And just by seeing me be able to tell my story and just to continue with life, it, it kind of motivates them. Nakuria says people feel like they know her daughter through her videos and how strong she was. So she's combining the two to get her through. So since this has come about and I see how effective I could be just off of social media, I consider maybe publishing a book. I don't really know where to start, but I do know soon. The positive power there of social media. Nakira says she plans to continue helping grieving families, and she feels like her purpose now is to reach out to those going through the same kind of struggle that she is.